I'm proud to have had the opportunity of playing with the teammates that I had. You couldn't have handpicked them. A Duke Snyder, a Carl Farrello, a Gil Hodges, a Jackie Robinson, a Pee Wee Reese. All of these fellas that had come out the Dodge organization, we grew up together, then thank God we got along and to be the first integrated team, we were winners. If we had that Carl Farrello, Duke Snyder, uh... Andy Pafco, that Coxie, we had Pee Wee, Gilliam, Hodges, Campanella. All the kids from my neighborhood, we were all from Brooklyn. Brooklyn was the number one team. And then uh, when I first signed with the Yankees, they, I thought they were going to throw rocks at me and not let me in the neighborhood anymore. I was like a traitor. If we played the Dodgers, it had to be a fight. Newcomb had to knock me down two or three times. Uh, Campy had to knock me down some kind of way. I was born baseball-wise in Brooklyn and uh, actually born in Los Angeles, but uh, I was not coming home as far as baseball is concerned. Home for me was in Brooklyn. Well, the Brooklyn Dodgers are so beloved in New York and especially in Brooklyn because they, they were like a kidnapped child. I mean, there was no reason except for Walter O'Malley's greed that the Dodgers left Brooklyn and went to California. Uh, the Dodgers were drawing good crowds there. Uh, he really had no in conscience had no reason to take the Dodgers out of Brooklyn. You know, Walter O'Malley in Brooklyn today is still as, as reviled a figure as Hitler or Stalin. Brooklyn Dodgers, America's team before the term was invented. From the very beginning of baseball history, the city of Brooklyn, New York, has played a prominent and important role in the history of our national game.